Okay, so one thing I'm often asked is, can you plug your Fire Stick directly into your PC and watch it on your PC? People wanna know this because they perhaps wanna go away to, I don't know, a hotel or something, take their laptop with them, plug it into the PC. What they think is you can plug it into the HDMI port on the PC, like so, and then you'll get the Fire Stick come up on the TV. But no, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. The HDMI port that's on a standard computer or laptop is an output. What you really need is an HDMI port with an input. So how do you get a laptop with an input rather than an output? Well, what you can do is you can buy a video capture card. Now, what I've got is I've got one of these Cloner Alliance boxes, which gives me an input on the back of it. Now, obviously, this is a bit extreme for most people. Uh, you can get like video capture cards that are about the size of a Fire Stick, maybe even smaller. So with this particular device that I've got, like I say, you can plug your Fire Stick into the input socket on there, and then obviously plug the power which uh, goes to your fire stick into the side of the fire stick like so. And then using a spare USB port, you then plug the Cloner Alliance box into a USB socket on the side of your PC, either a USB 2 or USB 3. So once you've plugged it in, switch it on if you need to. And the first time you switch it on, you might well find that it takes a few moments just to download and install the drivers. So once it's all plugged in, then what we need to do is we need to download a VLC media player. If you haven't got that already, just go to uh, www.videolan.org. That's www.videolan.org and just go to download VLC just there. It might take a few moments to download, just be patient. Then once it's downloaded, just go into your downloads folder and then find VLC in there. I'm just gonna go in there. And there we go, I've got VLC. So just double click on it. If it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click yes. Click on select your language here and then click on OK once you've selected your language. Click Next, click Next. Then when you get to choose components, what you can do is web plugins, take the tick out of that, and then scroll a bit further down. Discs playback, take the tick out of that. Take the tick out of file type associations, audio files and video files, and take the tick out of other two keep going down and the rest of them are okay. File type associations are optional, but once you've done that, click next, then install. Let it install, this bit might take a bit of time. And then once you get to this screen here, click finish and hopefully VLC will load. Now the next thing we've got to do is go up to media, make sure that your video capture card's plugged in, that your fire stick's also plugged in. And then we go down to open capture device. Go to cross to video device name, click on the drop down there and select the name of your video capture device. Mine is CA989UPUVC, yours will differ. If you're not sure what it is, just try different uh, options. Audio device name, mine is digital audio interface and in brackets after it, it's got the name of the capture device, CA989UPUAC, so select that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna click advanced options and change the picture aspect ratio to 16 colon nine. So that's 16 by nine. Now, it might be that you might have to play around with some of these settings to get absolute perfect picture and sound quality, but these should be a good starter for, for most people. So click on OK and then click on play. And if all's gone well, we should hopefully see the fire stick. Now, if we wanna make that full screen, we can just double left click anywhere on that and that becomes full screen. And as you can see, there's my Fire Stick and I'm controlling that using 
my remote control. If you want to come out full screen, just press the escape button on the keyboard, like so, and that takes us back. And if you want to come out of it, click on the cross in the top right hand corner. So there you go, that guide showed you how you can get your Fire Stick on your laptop or computer. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, why not help us out? Have a look in the description of this, this video. We've got loads of links in there. If you're in the market for a VPN subscription, a new Fire Stick, Fire Stick accessories, then have a look and consider purchasing through the links below. It really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to bringing these videos to you. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.